about 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.2, number 57. And here we were talking about three coworkers working for the same employer. We had the warehouse manager, the office manager, and the truck driver. And they told us the sum of the annual salaries for the warehouse manager and the office manager was 82 grand. And then they said the office manager makes 4,000 more than the truck driver. And the annual salaries of the warehouse manager and the truck driver total out 78000 So there's got to be three equations in there because I've got three folks and they're asking me what's the annual salary for each. So I just went X, Y, and Z respectively for the warehouse manager, the office manager, and the truck driver. And then let's start piecing these together, right? So the sum, that means I'm going to add, the sum of the salaries of the warehouse manager and the office manager is 82,000. So that means I wanna add these two, I wanna add X and Y together, and that is 82,000. So that's where that equation is coming from. Then it says the office manager, right? That's gonna be referencing the Y, it makes four, or that person makes 4,000 more than the truck driver. So if we knew the truck driver's salary and we added 4,000 to it, we would get the office manager's salary. And that's where you see me coming up with the second equation. All right, and then, oops, let me go ahead and erase some of this so it's not too junked up. The last thing that we see is that it says these annual salaries of the warehouse manager, right, that's gonna be an X, and the truck driver, that's gonna be a Z, total 78,000. So that's where we come up with that third equation. So now I have my three by three system. And I've got three equations, three unknowns, and I can use elimination or substitution. And I'm gonna opt for substitution. Uh, that seems to be the one that um, makes the most sense given how these equations play out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna, I'm gonna substitute in that expression for Z. So instead of X plus Y equaling 82,000, I'm gonna write X plus 4,000 plus Z equaling 82,000. Oops, let me put another zero on that. And so when I move the 4,000 over, I'm gonna get X plus Z is equal to 78,000, right? So there's me simplifying that equation, but the, the thing that I noticed is I already had that one, right? I, so all of a sudden I have these two equations combo to this third equation, and if I wanted to solve that system, right, if this, if this is one of my equations and then I have it repeated, well, that gets me to an identity, right? I, I wind up at this zero equals zero, meaning I have an infinite number of solutions. So this is kind of a mess. This is a dependent system, which is fine. We just need to recognize it. So there's actually an infinite number of combinations for the salaries of the two managers and the truck driver. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.